Hello Python programmers, this is AK. In this video, we are going to learn about how to create a Python program that is able to track the vehicles in the real time process. Before starting this project, you can do this project in two ways. The first way is using a specific XML file. The XML files are pre programmed one and you don't need to train with their dataset. If you have vehicle XML file, then you can detect the vehicles with the help of OpenCV library. So the another way is by applying the machine learning algorithm. You can also use the deep learning algorithms like CNN to train with the vehicle dataset. After we completed the training, we can use that model to easily detect the vehicles. Okay. Previously, I have experience in operating the deep learning models. I did my final year project on the deep learning. In my final year project, I created one deep learning model that is able to detect the mask. I used the CNN algorithm for training the mask dataset. When the training is done, you can use that deep learning model to detect the face of people who wear the mask or not. We can use the same approach here to detect the vehicles. But in this video, I'm going to show you about how to detect the vehicles by using XML files. If you are using the XML files, you don't need any data set because that is a pre-trained one. And if you want this project in deep learning, then subscribe this channel. I will upload the video soon. Okay. For this project, you need two things. The first one is the OpenCV library and second one is the vehicle XML file. These are the two dependencies for this project. And if you want the XML file, I will upload it on Telegram. You can download it from Telegram. Okay. For installing the OpenCV library, go to your CMD and type pip install OpenCV. So this is the command that will install the OpenCV library. Here I already installed it, so only I get the message like the requirement is already satisfied. Next, import the OpenCV library. And then create a variable called vehicle XML. In this variable, you need to type cv2.cascat classifier. And in this object, pass the vehicle XML file. And then you need to create a function called detection and, and pass the variable frame. And in this function, we are going to write the logic for the vehicle detection. Create a variable called vehicle and type vehicle xml.detect multiscale. So in the OpenCV library, I really like this object. The function of the object is to detect the multiple number of inputs and detect the different size of inputs in the video frame. We don't need to write any extra code for determining the shapes of the real time objects. Here the frame means our video frame, scale factor means the size of the object and neighbors are the number of detections in the video frame. Okay. After this, you have to create a for loop. In this loop, Create a variables like x-axis, y-axis, width and the height. It is used for drawing the rectangle on the input. So in the OpenCV library, there is a method to draw the rectangle on the video input. The method is cv2.rectangle and in this object, you have to give the size, color and the thickness of the rectangle. And pass the parameter values here. You have to pass these values sequentially in order. If you interchange the parameter values, then you will get only errors. Okay. And then you need to create a method called cv2.putText. This method is used for displaying the text with a rectangle. So we finished the first part of the logic. Next, you need to declare another function. Declare a function called as capture screen. Create a variable called real time video. And in this variable, you need to type cv2.video capture. In this variable, if you want to capture any webcam video, you have to pass the parameter zero. And if you want to capture the video from any hardware, then you have to pass the IP address of the respective hardware. Suppose if you are using any security camera, then you have to give the IP address of that in the video capture object. Okay. Now you need to create a while loop. In this loop, we need to create two variables. In this variables, you need to call real time video dot read object. So this is used to read the webcam video continuously until we close this program. Next, we need to create a condition. First, I write the code and then I will explain to you.
so this condition continuously check the frame if any vehicles are present at the video frame it will print the vehicle is detected okay and the else condition is it will break the loop when we press the q button simply it closes the application after we deducted the vehicles in the video frame and finally call all the functions so that's all about the code and let's run this program so due to covid it is not possible to go outside in my area so i will use my mobile here you can see that it identifies the image correctly and that's our output if you like this video give a like and subscribe our channel if you have any doubts about this project then ping me on twitter i will clarify your doubts at any time thanks for watching and thank you see you on next video